Hi, this is Vegeta Simonsen. I've been thinking about how we can end all suffering in the world, really, all animal and human suffering. And um, I've been thinking a lot about, you know, if you saw any of my other videos, my recent videos, uh, they are about uh, that uh, animals and uh, people, we are all the same. We're made of the same building blocks, our atoms and our uh, molecules, they are recycled. There's no uh, atoms or molecules that are ever lost in the universe. So they all recycle. When we die, we turn into dust uh, and, um, and same with animals or plants even also. And then um, the dust is, um, the molecules in the dust is being picked up by plants that are then being eaten by animals or people again. And so the cycle goes on. And it's also the same thing with our soul. There's one universal soul. That's what the spiritual leaders say. And uh, all beings have a piece of the same soul. So also animals and people, we have a piece of the same soul. So there's really no uh, difference. There's one more component where, that we all consist of, and that is energy. But it's the same thing uh, as for molecules. Energy is recycled. There's no energy in the universe that is being lost. Because, um, you know, uh, actually, I don't know if you know, but we consist of 99.9999% uh, uh, per, uh, empty space that is consisted, that consists of energy and information. Uh, and the rest is the, the, the matter, this, the molecules, is uh, our flesh and so on, but it's such a small percentage because the molecules are so, so tiny uh, that we actually consist of mostly empty space. It's amazing, but uh, but it is true. That's what the scientists say. Um, so also, let's get back to the energy. The en no energy is ever being lost in the universe also, which means that uh, when we die, then our energy is also being recycled. So uh, both our molecules and uh, our spirit and uh, our energy is all recycled, which means that uh, all of it has more than likely been in an animal or uh, in other people beforehand. And uh, what they also found out, the, the scientists, is that there's a memory stored in cells, but also in molecules. And uh, there's memory stored there, but we're not aware of it. But uh, our subconscious mind is aware of it. And we are mainly being uh, controlled by our subconscious mind. 90% uh, or so is being controlled of our, of our subconscious mind. So all this, uh, when, when we treat animals the way that we do in the meat and uh, yeah, production industry, the meat production industry, uh, with uh, so much um, mistreatment and suffering, all that is being stored in, that, in the animals on uh, molecules and cells that are then being recycled and then they at some point go into our body and they we we uh, we don't notice that uh, consciously, but our subconscious mind, I'm sure, that knows the all that memory of suffering, and uh, I think that is why we have so much violence and suffering in the world, because we have so much suffering inside us. So it's kind of a release. So, so the only way to to stop all this uh, suffering. It's a bad cycle. Then we have to we have to stop putting out suffering in the world. We have to stop uh, treating other beings, animals, and people bad and and um, put suffering on them. Uh, that's the only way to stop it from coming back to us. It's all karma. Karma is you give what you get. Oh, the other way, you get what you give. So when you put out suffering in the world, you get suffering back. If you put out love in the world, then you get love back. Comment below. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe. Take care. Bye.